I am George Diggle, and you're in the right place to get the sizzling subjects and the trending topics. The news clips are showing the sound bites of the National Association of Black Journalists Conference as Donald Trump was a panelist in Chicago. Now, many people are of the assertion that it should never have happened. They should never have invited Donald Trump to be on that panel. April Ryan expressed her opinions about Donald Trump's appearance, saying on her Twitter post, Trump came into our home, a black press advocacy convention, and insulted us in our face. What is worse, he was invited to do this by the NABJ leadership. Shame. Now, let's take a listen to some of the comments that actually happened as Donald Trump was a guest with the National Association of Black Journalists in Chicago. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you? after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, first question. <laughs> you don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. We have you for a limited time, uh, sir. I'd love to move on to different no, topics. No, excuse me, you're can. the one that held me up for 35 minutes, just so you understand. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. What's going to happen to the people in Portland that destroyed that city? But sir, my question city? is on those. What's going to happen to the people that tried to bring? My question is on those rioters who assaulted Excuse officers. Me. You have to ask, would you pardon those people? What's going to happen? Oh, absolutely, I would. You if would pardon innocent, those? If they're innocent, I would pardon them. They've been convicted. And by the way, the Supreme Court just <laughs> under. Last word. Now let's let's take a look at this. First of all. Um, April Ryan has made a statement earlier on. She said, why would the National Association of Black Journalists allow him to be on the stage? As a journalist, it is your responsibility to ask the hard questions in a forum, even if you don't agree with the person you're having the discussion with. That is the job of a journalist. And I think that it would be a missed opportunity for the National Association of Black Journalists to say because we don't agree with him because he said these reprehensible made these reprehensible statements that we don't agree with. We're not going to allow them to have him. We're not going to allow him on our panel. That would be an insult to their industry. And April Ryan and all the people who are of the opinion that he should never have been there are also irresponsible, you know, as journalists. Now, I'm going to add this for um, for clarity. Now, the former president did mention that the interview started almost 35 minutes later than it had been scheduled. Now, to the NABJ and whoever was responsible for the sound equipment and making sure that everything was set up, that's not a good look. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. That is not a good look. And giving this man the opportunity to have a room full of professionals and then tell them to their face how unprofessional they are is not a good look. So because this uh, one hour interview ran 35 minutes behind schedule, of course, you only got 35 minutes or 30 some odd minutes of actual interview uh, with the former president. This is an opportunity for this man to make the statements that people have been pointing at, to make the statements that have shown exactly who he has been the entire time, and for people to really take away what it is that they will all take away. Everybody's going to see something in, different in that interview. One final note, as I talk about the NABJ moderators, while I think all of these women were well-spoken, I do not think that they were the right people for this panel. And I will tell you why. They were very aggressive. They were very hostile in the tone that they were asking the questions. And I think it was largely because they started 30 some odd minutes late. So they wanted to hurry up and fire off those questions and get everything in it as fast as they could. And it sounded hurried, it sounded hostile, it didn't sound 
like they were really journalists trying to get to the bottom of the story or get to the truth. It just sounded like, I want to get my jab in. I want to get my jab in. And I, I think that that did a disservice to those young ladies on that panel. But you tell me what you think. What do you think about everything? Do you think that it should even have had the discussion with Donald Trump? Let me know.